Hello Leo, how are you guys doing? This reading is for you. Leo, 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 Leo. Okay. So I'm just gonna clear the energy really quick. Okay. So let's see, Leo. What's going on for you guys here? Um, you have the nine of wands and the six of swords. So there's a lot of different things that you're trying um, at this time and there is something that you're making a decision on about going forward. For some of you, there's like a lot of different things that you have tried to make a circumstance or a situation work and you decided to move forward. This could be energetically or this could be something that you're walking away from um, because it's not going anywhere. It's not prog progressing in any way. And some of you have seen that a person is not putting anything towards you you know this person here he has a bandage and it's like he's wounded okay um but if you look at the bandage the way that it's sideways and everything it's like indicating that it hasn't you know it's been on there for quite some time and that this person has healed but they're still remembering this pain right and they have done what they needed to do to protect this from happening again they're waiting for it to happen again so there could be for some of you something where you realized a particular person is not going to come around. They're not going to do what it is that you want for them to do. You're not getting what you want from a person, from a situation, from love, from something. You're not getting what you want from it. And you waited, you tried different things and it's not happening. So you're going to leave that situation because you're recognizing that um you don't want to wait anymore and you don't deserve yeah you have the ten of swords here so this is a good decision um to walk away from something and have make your own new beginning here you're just going to make your own way and for some of you there is a way that you had envisioned something going and it's not going that way and there are things that are happening where spirit is reminding you of the past. People in your life are behaving in a particular way. It's reminding you of past people. It's reminding you of this. It's reminding you of your childhood. You're watching a movie. It's like that it reminds you of something that happened to you. You're like somebody talks about something and it's like they say this and you were just thinking about that sparks a memory that it's like putting things together like a puzzle of okay. This is why I was doing this. And this is why I was getting this from people. And I deserve better than this. So I'm gonna leave this circumstance. It's almost like you didn't realize that you were allowing people to breadcrumb you, to um, belittle you, to, you know, you were giving so much to them and they were not giving the equal amount back. Look at this. I'm, you can't make this up. This is two of cups, okay? This is equal give and take. This is what you're headed towards. You're like, no, this is what I want now. And if something is not going to give me what it is that I want, then I'm not going to put my energy there anymore. I'm going to shift my energy somewhere else. And this is how you have new beginnings coming towards you. This is how you have a change in your financial situation coming towards you, a change in your relationships coming towards you. This is how you have positive implications coming into your life, coming into your reality that you've been wanting a long, long time. This full card keeps wanting to come out. That's what I'm putting in the middle here. This is time for you to say, I'm going to let go and I'm going to go for it. For some of you, you could have just enough you know, something that's going to come in. It's like you have a dollar amount in your mind. Like if I get this amount of money, this is what I'm going to do with it. And it involves some form of a dream, of a new beginning, of some form of, form of exploration, some way to do something that you're passionate about and do it in like a way that means something about ex exploring here. There is something new here that you're wanting to commit to. It's like, okay, I want to commit to something new. I want to go into this new new um, life here. And it's like spirit wants you to know, yeah, you can do that. You can do that. You don't have to worry anymore. You don't have to, yeah, you don't have to stay stuck here. And that is your challenge. It's like, should I stay or should I go, you know? And this is an element of the unknown and it's a little bit foggy. So you can't see what this is. 
but you know what this is, you know? So there is an element of the unknown here. And that's what the fool is representing. The fool does not know, you know, they're about to jump off a cliff here. And the fool's like, hey, I always land on my feet. It's all good, you know? So um, that's the change that is happening. Look at this. It's a major, major rebirth. I feel like it's coinciding with this full moon in Leo that we have in a couple of days, right? It's time. It's time. You know, you have the hanged man here. You have an idea of something that you want to happen, something that you want to come towards you. Some of you could be doing a lot of daydreaming lately, a lot of visualization. It's like important to pay attention to. Look at this, seven of cups. Are you daydreaming to your advantage or are you daydreaming to your detriment? That's a difference there. Because if you're imagining all of the ways that something can go wrong, that's daydreaming to your detriment. Don't do that. If you're imagining all of the beautiful things that could go right and you feel joy in your soul, okay, keep doing that. <laughs> you know, um, that's kind of the shift here that's happening. So let's see. This is an exciting time. This is an exciting time for big changes here. It's like the stage has been set and now it's time. You know, the curtains are up. The lights are on. It's time to go out there now. And you're kind of like, is it though? I don't know. <laughs> is it time for us to do this yet? I don't know. And, um, okay. Let's see. You have the five of pentacles. There's a fear of putting yourself out there that it's going to go like it has gone every other time. Um, this three of, of pentacles, of cups here. It's like people, a lot of people have left you out in the cold. A lot of people are not actually genuine people that you can rely on. A lot of people are just not your people. You know, it's not the way you want to roll. It's not the vibe you want to be around. And you're starting to see that more and more and more. But there is something about if you leave these people, are you going to be completely alone then? So you kind of don't want to abandon yourself. But by staying with these people, what you're not seeing is you are very alone within this group. So why would you want to stay there? So there are some things here that need to change with judgment as far as the people that you allow in your space, the people that are, you allow in your energy. And um, there is some kind of change that you're going to do here. And because you're doing this change, I feel like people are going to like come towards you and they're going to have something to say. You know, you have this eight of wands and then you have the three of swords. There are people that want to come towards you now and they want to communicate some things to you. They want you to go back into these old patterns with them. But I don't see you doing that. You have the lover's card here and then you have the um, uh, ten of pentacles here. So this is getting into alignment and getting everything it is that you're wanting here. This is changing your day-to-day -day life. This is like knowing what's right for you and being willing to follow this impulse wherever this may lead you and understanding that you can protect yourself. You can survive on your own. You don't need anyone else. It's kind of like there are some good qualities in these people, in these situations, in this stuff. But it's not great, you know, it's not 100% and you, you're you not going to settle anymore, any, anymore. But it's like there is a big, you do have a big heart and so there is a little bit of like this energy of it's bittersweet and to think of the act of actually leaving a place behind, you know, you've gotten very comfortable there, you feel very safe there. So there is a little bit of this pullback that you have within you. Um, but more and more, I feel like that is going to change. There is something about a person coming towards you. Like, there is something about the hangman and the knight of cups keeps coming out. So, like, I kind of want to clarify this really quick. You have the seven of wands. Some of you had a vision uh, about how you're going to meet someone. And you're trying to make that happen. And it's like you're there is something else that it wants to come in and it's it's you're like not even noticing it because you thought it was going to come in a different way. So you have the king of pentacles, the um, knight of wands with the seven of wands. So this is this is energy of 
you're wanting someone to come forth with this passion and there's refusal and there's trying to force something or someone's trying to force something on you either way there is it could just be energetically but there is something here that's not it's not going to happen the way that you want it to happen and there's better for you out there that's what spirit wants you to know at this time so okay let's see You have justice. You are in balance at this time and you really want to do what's right. You want to do what's right for you. You want to do what's right for, you know, everyone you know. You want to do what's right for the world. You want to do what's right for everything in every situation here. There's like a lot of decisions that you're making. And for some of you, you kind of feel like you're trying to create some sort of balance and you don't know how this is going to happen here. You know, you have this Knight of Cups that keeps coming out. Somebody in the recent past could have came towards you with an offer of love. And it never went anywhere. And nothing ever happened with this. It was like plans were being made, but nothing exactly happened. And for some of you in the past, you may have had plans to go do something. To go travel somewhere in the world to go do this, to go do that, to do, go follow some sort of a passion. And you stopped it because of a person that came in because of a love opportunity. And now that that opportunity no longer is, you know, what you're interested in, there is this wanting to go and do that. Do that thing that you didn't do before or something like that, okay? You have the Hierophant card here. There is love for you here. There is commitment here. But there may be something that needs to be walked away from. And sometimes when you walk away from a person, you know, you create, well, really what that does is you create the space for this person to think for themselves because you're not pulling on their energy. And so in this space, they can decide what it is that they really want. And if they want something with you, then they're going to come towards you, right? And if they don't, it's like, well, then there's better out there for you. There's better out there for you. You have the three of swords with the five of swords with the eight of wands. So there could be a person in your past and this energy is still clearing out right now <coughs> or it could have been recently, <laughs> excuse me, that you're thinking back on past heartache and, you know, if you leave, if you move on, this is never going to be resolved. You know, you're not going to run into these same people that you see every day and these comforts that you have every day. It's like, but there's so much more here for you. And this is what spirit wants you to see. The spirit wants you to stop allowing somebody else to rob you of this exploration of the world. You know, that's what's happening here. You have the seven of swords with the two of wands. So before we had the two of wands and it was like with the queen of swords, like somebody came, was coming through and it stopped you from this exploration and spirit is like, are you recognizing how you allowed someone else to stop you from what it is that you want? There is, and you know, the seven of swords also talks about something that you're wanting to do, something that you're trying to plan that you want to achieve. You want to make it a reality here. Okay. Um, there is a way to make something possible. There is always a way that you can make something possible is like the thing that it's saying here, because you know, on the Seven of Swords card, this person doesn't want to go to war. So what are they doing? They are sneaking into the enemy's camp and they're stealing all of their weapons. So there is a way that you can do something that you're not seeing. So be open to different ways for things happening. This can happen when you get someone who is a fixed sign, who is highly intuitive they know what's going to happen and they fill in all of the gaps. <laughs> and so they think this is how this has to happen. And that's it. And they try to force it. And the more they try to force it, they just push it away, <clears throat> excuse me, away from happening. And then the way that it could really happen, it's just being pushed off, keeps being pushed off, keeps being pushed off. When if you just would have let go and gone with the flow, you know, it all would come together here. So that's kind of the energy that it's like you're, you're coming into here. 
you know, having the Hierophant in the near future, there is something here that you're doing, you know, because this is kind of like saying, okay, I'm, I'm planning something here. You know, there's something that I want to plan. I'm going to find a way to do it here. And this is doing it. This is, you've done it. You know, you're here. You made it. So, yeah. Okay. You know, you're afraid that you're going to walk away from your dream here. You're afraid that you're going to walk away and miss out. You're going to walk away. You're going to leave something behind. You're going to turn in a different direction and you're going to regret it. It's going to be everything that you think about and all of your dreams and all of your happiness was tied to it. And now it's too late. There's like a little bit of a fear of that here. But you have this, ten, look at this. Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. How many times have the Ten of Pentacles come out now? I mean, really. You're going to be fine. It's like you kind of got to go for it here is the energy. And you kind of are going for it here is the thing. Yeah, you have this Eight of Swords. This is like internal fears that don't exist. This is not. It's in your mind, This all of this. You have this Six of Wands here. You have the King of Cups here. Okay, there is a victory here. There is a person who wants a victory with you. Well, let's see what your advice is, and then we're going to clarify, okay? You have the strength card. So this is your war with, within you that you're going to be victorious in. Your war within you. Nobody can defeat you but yourself. That's it. That's all that it is. You have a dream. Um, you know what it is that you're wanting at this point, I feel like, and it's just all you have to do is line up with it and allow it. That's it. Anything that is causing you to pull away from this alignment, from allowing it, well, don't do it. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> That's it. You can do it. This could be a Leo person coming in for you as well. So let's see um, outcome. You have the three of cups. You have celebration here. There's a beautiful celebration here. Some extreme emotional fulfillment, love, okay? You have that here as well. You have the lover's card here. It's like you're making choices based on how you feel, based on what is going to benefit you. And it's like you're making choices based on what? Your alignment and what is your inner guidance system, your emotions, right? It's like that's what this is saying. So there's going to be new people. Wherever it is that you're going, there's going to be new celebrations to be had. There's going to be new reasons to celebrate. You're going to get one, two, three, all three of those things that you are hoping for. So it's like continue. This is what the strength card is talking about, right? It's like, you know, when you, um, when your stomach is, you know, hurting, you have a pain in your stomach, you know, okay, I'm hungry. I need to eat something. I can't just stop eating and not eat. No, I need to go eat something. When I'm thirsty, it's like, okay, I need to drink something. So that's what I'm going to go do. You know, when you have a pain in your body somewhere where we're babies, we know that this means something needs to change, right? That's what it's signifying to us. This is what your body is telling you. So when you're feeling emotionally sad, when you're having that kind of pain in your body, this anxiety, this depression, this fear, this unwanted emotion. This is your body telling you what? You need to change what it is that you're doing. Change what you're thinking about. Don't think about that anymore because it's making you feel, you know, uh, nervous, uh, restless, um, agitated, uh, stressed, sad, fearful, uh, you know, going on and on and on. And it builds and it builds and it builds and it builds. And then you like, how did I get here? What happened? You know, and so spirit is like, you know, you are recognizing what it is that you're choosing to think about and what your emotions are telling you. Oh, my emotions are telling me this is not a good feeling. So I'm not in alignment. So I don't want to be thinking about this. I'm going to shift it. And this is why this is the choices card. You know, she is making these choices and she is you know, in between the divine here. She's looking up to the angel over here, but standing here on this ground. So this is what's going on here. It's like you're, 
unifying this mind, body, and spirit, the three, to have this experience here. And it's like, you know, you have the choice here. You have the choice. It's your choice. And you're practicing. Your whole life has been practicing. They're using sticks, not swords. Right? So let's practice. And you are getting to see, oh, that, the way that I did that, that caused a three of swords moment. Nope. Okay. Now when I do this, now I'm getting a three of cups moment. Okay. So it's like showing you which way. That's how you're learning. And now you have changed to learning this, to receiving this, to knowing how to navigate life. So you continue to get more and more of these moments and it builds and builds and builds. So that's what you're doing here. It's a very, um, you know, it's a huge transition. It's a, immense stability. It is, you know, you taking your power back. It is, you know, <laughs> look at that. It's a lot of success that's coming into your life. There's changes on what has been holding you back, you know? Um, and so it's like now is the time to like, okay, you know, you don't need to be spending money like crazy, right? This is the time when it's like, okay, you're getting into your security here. And this is the time where you're gonna let you're gonna let this tower fall. It's like there is a want to hold back but that's not going to overpower like the magician here it's like you're manifesting i knew it i knew this was coming next i knew it you're manifesting everything you're going from i don't know if i can do this to you know what screw that of course i can and doing it <laughs> it's kind of like you disappeared for a little while and you're going to reemerge like bam and people are going to be shocked. People are going to be shocked. You have um, the King of Swords here, which is um, Aquarius energy. Um, Libra, Gemini. Could be. Uh, yeah, you have a lot of Libra. You have Taurus and Aquarius. Okay. Could be Virgo, too. Okay, you had the fool in the center here. So let's check on this new beginning here. Three of pentacles. I love it. Three of pentacles is, you know, you're building in something in a healthy direction. You're with people that are, you know, they're also just as passionate, just as dedicated, just as invested in building something wonderful. And it's co-creating together. It's co-creating with the universe you're doing something that's helping other people live in their bliss, okay? That's creating more beauty in this world. It's just a beautiful. It's a beautiful energy to have a new beginning. It's for some of you it's like a new chapter in your life. It's like when an artist has like a whole new concept for an album that they're going to do. You know, a whole new idea for an art show, a whole new it's like, that's the energy you're going to, this collabing with this, you know, bringing this into this. There's ways that you're like refining something and it's going to be very, very, very successful here. So this is beautiful. Okay, so let's see the challenge you have here is the nine of wands and the four of wands. So let's see about that. You have the page of wands and the seven of wands. So are you going to stay here fighting all of this backlash again and again and again? Or are you just going on this new adventure? You know, it's like for some of you, it's like, have you been leading a horse to water and the horse will not drink? And you could just stay and try to force that horse to drink, you know, or you could just go somewhere else and do something else that you're interested in that would be fulfilling to you that is unknown. It's unknown. It's it's not something that you have done before. There's a risk there. So that's your decision to make, right? Yeah. Um, a million cards. I yeah yeah. There is a big opportunity that's coming to you that's gonna lead to a lot of different things. It's like there is something that you're following here. I'm really getting the energy that you're creating this opportunity for yourself. 
could be through a person that you're going to reach out to or they reach out to you and you kind of make this happen. For some of you, it could just be there is something that you're doing. There is something that you're and you're like making something a new opportunity now. Yeah, you have the hanged man, the five of cups and the two of wands. So again, it's like you have an idea to do something and you're thinking about all of the ways that it's not going to work and how you're disappointed because it didn't happen in the way that you're wanting to. But there's ways that it could happen. And then you're open to thinking about that, too. And now more and more, it's like in the beginning, you were very much so like, no, it should have happened in this particular way. It didn't happen. So I'm devastated and you know I'm just gonna stay here <laughs> that's it you know and a little bit more and more you're like keep thinking about the idea and then other ways pop into your head and then it's like no it should have happened this way it can't happen those other ways those ways are not options that's it but then it's it's balancing back and forth back and forth this one is gonna win you're going to see the possibilities. You're going to try a different way. You're going to revamp something. There's a way that you can work with what you have and like change it in a way. And look, I even forgot this card was underneath the seven of swords. There's a way that you're going to figure something out here that you, you yeah, there is an opportunity that you're going to make here coming towards you again. There's a way. Look at the chariot and the ten of pentacles. I'm telling you. And this little opportunity that you're kind of, you know what, maybe I'll try this. Uh, maybe I'll try this. And that's what it is. It's not, I have. what's that one idea? Tell me that one idea so I know what it is so that I can go do it. No, that's not how it's going to come. Can't get there from there. That's not how it works. You know how it's going to work? You're going to try that. You're going to feel an impulse. You're going to try something. Okay, no. You're going to feel an impulse. No, 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 no. Then you're going to feel another impulse. Try something else. And then you're going to, you know, keep doing what's working, but you're going to keep doing this. And then there's going to be one thing that you try and it's just bam. Everything opens up from that and it builds to more and more and more and more. So you're kind of not realizing it as you're doing it. And suddenly it just comes right out, right out of nowhere. Yeah, because these are the other cards here. So this is like, oh, this is never going to work. It's never going to work. But the, somewhere along the line, you decided to stop doing something that's just not working. Somewhere along the line, you decided to stop looking at all the reasons why you're not good enough. It's not going to work out and nothing good ever happens to you and blah, 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 blah. All of the problems that you have, all the weaknesses that you have. And you just decided to let all of this beautiful stuff in. Could be a cancer person coming in for you too. Okay, I want to see the Hierophant and well, the strength card is not. I want to see the Hierophant. They're not together. They're separate. Okay. You have the Nine of Swords here. Some of you really, really, really want someone. You have the Seven of Swords and the Six of Cups. This is interesting. There are some of you that are finding a different way to something, a different approach in yourself. The Seven of Swords is really screaming at me today. There is a different approach to something here. And it's like, hey, I want to do something different because I want a different result. And this, what you're changing within you is leading to a gift in the universe. That's what it is. And it's like, could be something that you're like, oh, there's no way I would ever do this. I wouldn't meet someone like that. I would never go on a, up on a blind date. I would never be set up on a blind date. I would never go on a blind date. No, no way. Or I would never talk to someone because of this, this, and this. Or someone like this. And it doesn't necessarily have to be that, but you had some sort of stipulation, something that was keeping you stuck. And when you decide to do it in a different way, this is how you're, you're, you're meeting someone that... It, pretty amazing is everything you know so it, this could even be like you know you decide to go somewhere different and instead of you know thinking about the past and situations that didn't work out you're like you know what maybe instead I should go here and go to this um you know bookstore and, you know, it's like you're doing something different. There is a way that you're like, hey, this is 
comfortable and familiar, but it is not adding value to me anymore. So I am going to find a way to do something different that sparks a childlike excitement within my soul. That's what that is telling you. I'm telling you. With the hanged man. It's like with this idea, are you, you know, with this dream, are you going to daydream of all the ways that it could go right? Or are you going to daydream of all the ways that it could go wrong? That's all that's happening here is you have the complete control now. And, um, well, you've always had the complete control, but now you're realizing it. Now you're owning it. And now you're making a change. And this is why all of this sudden blessings are coming into you. And this is what I'm talking about right here. This is what I'm talking about. You have the Eight of Swords with the Eight of Cups. And then you have the Empress and the Emperor. So, yeah, there is something that you're like, I don't know. I can't do this. I, I don't know how, how I'm going to do this. And you walk away. You're just, what do I have? What do I know? And let me work with that. I can, I'm going to, you know, try along the way. And then, bam. Wow. Wow. You're changing something. You're taking a negative experience and you're changing it into a positive experience. You're using that energy to make a positive experience out of it. It's very important. Okay, I want to see this Three of Cups here. of wands. I mean, there's a bunch of other cards here, but can we just say the challenge was, you know, are you going to worry about everything that could go wrong or are you going to go for it? Just go for it. You might not be able to see the path if it's clear or not. You know, you got to go within your gut. You have to go and like this is you going on the new earth here. This is you, you know, changing your life here. You're, you're choosing it. You're choosing this. You're choosing this stability. You're choosing this new commitment. You're choosing these new reasons to celebrate. You're choosing to discover, you know, you're choosing to expand your life here, you know, and you have judgment, the queen of wands and the ace of pentacles. So this is kind of like saying spirit is uh, letting you know here. Spirit is going to show you that there's nothing that you cannot be or do or have. Nothing. Uh, you just as you are, the possibilities are endless and all of this abundance, all these new opportunities, all of this commitment, all this joy, you know, that you have decided to line up with. That's what's happening here for you. That's that's what's coming in for you here. And, you know, you have the high priestess here with this ten of pentacles. So, uh, no, this is the ten of cups. Sorry. Um, this could very well be a Pisces person coming in for you this could happen during pisces season it doesn't necessarily have to let's see more energy about this person page of shells is a page of cups that's the frog. You know, the frog is someone, it says intuition and inspiration. So this is a person who wants love. This is a person who's made this decision that they want love and they have not lost their innocence in love. You know, this is a person who they have a romantic side and they're willing to show you this romantic side. You know, they don't care who knows about that. Uh, nine of cups gratitude fulfillment this is a person who is very fulfilled in their life you know see they have the nine cups and they just want that that other cup you know and this is a person that slowly but surely you're going to get to know them you're going to see that this is building into something you're going to see because their actions are going to show you they're going to do something that shows you you know, that's how you're going to be able to know that this is something that can happen with this person. You have the four of shells here. This is a very stable interaction that, you, you know, you don't see this coming. 
There is not like, oh yeah, this is coming. Yeah, I know this is coming. No, you don't you don't know about this. And you have the three the six of um you have the um six of pentacles here. You have gratitude here. This person, it's like, you know, they had to do a lot of work here to balance out in a connection. This is someone who's successful. It's like you're successful, they're successful. So that's very nice because I feel like you have not had that kind of a connection before and neither have they. This person knows what it is that they are wanting and they want to see like the evidence of this here. It could be a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn here because you have the King of Pentacles here. This person has learned and they understand how to manifest now. And they are looking for, look, Queen of Crystals. They are looking for their other person with the hair front card here. This could really be a Taurus person. This is a person that wants to find someone that they can spend the rest of their life with. That's what they're looking for. That's what they're ready for here. This person has a big, big heart and they had to learn that they can't just give that big heart to anyone you know it needs to be someone worthy and i feel like this person you know they know that it's you they know that it's you you have the firefly here this person has an imagination they're a very imaginative person they like to um tell stories they like to bring people together they like to get things done they're very motivated and you have the cheetah here so once this person is comfortable, this is going to move very, very quickly. It takes them a little bit of time, but that's just because, you know, they uh, have worked hard to get what they have and they have a lot to offer just like you do. So it's healthy to slowly get to know someone and slowly let something build. You know, that's a sign of a person who has a good head on their shoulders and is a healthy person. Um... But once they feel like they have, they they see really who you are. I feel like instantly they feel like you're the one for them. But they allow you know time and evidence to prove this, you know, and you do the same thing, and then this begins to move very very quickly. This person has like very deep feelings that they're going to share with you, and they may have been very misunderstood in their past. I feel like you have been very misunderstood as well, but there's something really amazing about this person here. Really amazing about both of you. Look, you have the frog. You cannot make this up. Very romantic. You know, two frogs together, that symbolizes true love. And it's like you don't see it coming. You're looking over here. They're looking over here. You may like live in two different places here. You have the hummingbird here. This is a beautiful new beginning. This is someone who wants to spend their days being very cheerful, being very happy. Um, why not? It's like whatever it is we're going to do, why can't we make it fun while we're doing it? That's the kind of person that this is. It's like risk. It feels like taking a risk, letting this person in because you have only had people that were not reliable, you know, but this is something here with this tree here. Okay. It's like, this is going to grow, grow slowly, but it's going to grow over time here, you know? And, um, it's like that it feels risky to do something like that, but it's like when you're, if you're not, if you're not going to start something new, then nothing new is going to happen you know so okay it's like way too many cards let's see let's see more about this person this person is very protective over um people that they care about and i feel like they're going to be very protective over you and that's a quality that you're going to like you have resourcefulness so this person is very like, hey, how can we do this? How can we do that? It's not like when a problem arises, how can we fix it and move on from that? You know, if there's a way that they can help someone, they're going to help someone. Um, that's the kind of energy that this person has. Um, you have bluff and you have companionship here. So some of you may think that this person is with someone already. You may be worried that somebody else is going to influence them. They may have a child and you're worried that they're still with a, another person or something like that or wanting to be with another person. But I really feel like you're going to birth something new with this person. You have inspiration here. Now you have generosity here. So this is like, no, I feel like you're going to see that there is nothing to worry about with this person. It's like that's something 
common that happens when you meet somebody who is different from everybody else from your past because you're different from the way that you were in your past as well. And so this is a new area to navigate and for this person too. So a lot of times after um, interacting for a little while, fears can creep in. Uh oh, I'm really happy. This could be bad. What if this is? What if this is? What if this is not happening? But you're learning how to balance that out so you don't go down that path and you don't create those kinds of things for yourself again. Yeah, that's something that's happening here for you and for this person. Um, so that's very interesting that you're kind of on this same path here. Um, you know, and the two of you are going, you know, you have a new idea, but you don't have an example. It's like, you don't have someone in your family that it's like, okay, they did this and that's how I want to live. Or I want to be like this couple, you know, it's kind of like you and them have never really been in a healthy relationship before. So you have to figure all of that out and that's what comes with it. And that's, you know, that's normal part of life. Yeah, you have alchemy and ancestors and alchemy is all about taking something and turning it into something else. And it's like in your ancestral line, everybody had these kinds of relationships, but you're changing something. You changed a pattern that went down and down and down and so did this person. So now you're like setting a new precedent. Like you get to create everything, how everything is going to be. You know, when you start a new family, it's like, what are your traditions going to be? What is this going to be? What is this going to be? It's like you and this person. You get to decide all of that. You get to create what everything is going to be, you know? Um, and it's a it's a beautiful thing. You have Ace of Air, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Uh, I feel like, you know, and then this gar guarded and vulnerability is coming out. So it's like, yeah. So then you're being vulnerable in this way for the first time in a long time, you know? Um, and then it's like you want to switch back to garden and that makes them switch to garden but I don't see it staying that way it's just a new thing that you're navigating but it's like this person is is willing to work this out with you to discover this with you they want to do this with you and they don't want to do it with anyone else yeah you have fate and you have offers here I'm telling you I'm telling you and it's because you have self-love you're coming from a healthy basis and so is this other person. So there is a lot of room for this to build, a lot of room for this to grow. And there is a lot of genuine um, desire. <laughs> and, you know, that's really all you need here. And, that you know, this is what you, you know, decided to create here. This is beautiful. You know, you have the crack cup. It says dissatisfaction with life. You have the frying pan, trouble, accusations. You know, anybody that's coming at you at this time, it's like, remember that they're dissatisfied with their life. That's why they're coming towards you this way, you know, because it's like an accusation, trouble. That's somebody trying to make trouble now because of what it is that you have achieved here. So like not everybody is going to be happy about these changes that you are making because that means that you're no longer going to allow them to feed off of your energy, to take advantage of you. Remember in the beginning of the reading, it was like, um, you know, if it's not equal give and take. It's like they're not giving anything and you're giving everything. You're no longer allowing that anymore. There are some people that are not going to like that very much. And it's like, well, that's their problem. Um, you have dogs getting together with friends. It's like at the end of the reading, you had that three of cups. So there's going to be people that you're leaving behind. There's going to be new people that are going to take their place and it's going to be fun. And they're going to be loyal. That's the difference that you see with the dog energy, right? You have nest emotionally secure. Loving family is important to you. Look at this. You're building a new nest with someone and this person, you and them get to decide what it's going to be. You know, and that's a real beautiful thing that the two of you are doing together. Yeah, wind chimes, peace and harmony and success. Wow. Okay. I love this, Leo. This is amazing. Thank you so much. Okay. If you like the video and you want to like or subscribe, I would greatly appreciate it. Okay. Also, I have a book. It's called One Lights. And um, it's all about the law of attraction and manifesting. So I'm going to put that in the description if you're interested. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay.